Wow, it is a mess out here. Look at all this stuff. This is why we're not recording more videos because uh, this is the studio and that is usually where the, one of these cars are parked. Claire Bear, and boom. So we're back at it today. We're gonna go help Luke with his 120K service. We're still at it. I'm taking the beautiful, this car is freaking beautiful, the 350. We've got some tools here. We might need Claire Bear here. She is not going. We're gonna do that and I don't know, how about a start on the 350? I think we're in, we're in order for that. And Claire's riding her scooter. Whoops, locked. Need to push this button. Oh, hot in here. Let's uh, do the magical key. All right, we're in the 350. It is freaking filthy. I still haven't uh, cleaned it. We got the AC in here, dude. Let's go auto AC. Let's crank it low. But you know what? We still roll with the windows down. Dude, people be three, sleeping on the 350. You got the automatic window going on. Holy smokes, things on automatic everything, dude. Let's go turn on some jams and let's get at it. Really good. All right, we're back at Luke's house. Say what's up to everybody, Luke. Yo, back again. I think you we might need, get in trouble. I think we need to change these tail lights out today because you said you got a little something special. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, we can do that yeah, today. Do we'll do a little tail Dude. light restoration. But what we really came here to do, we're about to put this thing back together. So this other video you've seen, all we have to do is pull these cam gears off, which I had to get just some tools and we're gonna pop those bad boys off. Then we're going to literally start putting this back together. Um, just these kind of videos we're throwing together, this little vlog of doing it. It's, it's kind of really that easy. Jesse. Know? I want to drive my car, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been, we're taking our sweet time doing this, but. Uh, it's going to be good for it. Um, but I want it's, it's not as, it's not that bad. So we're going to start throwing some stuff back together today. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Woo. All right, we officially, this thing is officially apart. Um, yeah, so definitely going to clean this area. Any of those water areas that seal up, as you can see, the. I need to get a little bit more right there, but get these clean because they will leak. And it looks like someone's been here with um, a valve cover job at some time and resealed them up. And, uh, but there we go. So we're going to remove these seals. There's going to be five, four up top on the cams and then one down there. We'll do that after we get this all cleaned up on a good chance. So this is behind the cover, a good chance to just clean this stuff up there. But, uh, that's how much room is in this engine bay once you're doing the timing stuff and get stuff out of the way. So I don't think it's as tight as people think. I think the 350 is tighter, but I also think the 350 radiator core support can come out of there too. There's an entire but, uh, loop forearm. It's a loop forearm there. Of space. Yeah. So it really opens up and I mean, you have ample room to work. I think the biggest, the tightest spot is on the twin turbo model, actually changing the turbos down there. I think they didn't leave you very much room and you would probably have to do it from the bottom, but on an NA, I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get this cleaned up and uh, I guess we'll change these seals up. Huh. All right, so this is uh, looking pretty clean. You can see we got in there and got these services big and span and clean um, down there. So all our water accessories will have a good mating area. And we're actually, Luke was gonna go get a pressure washer and just wash the final wash on this and get all this crud out of here. So we'll do that. So we're gonna put a pause on this. We're gonna fix those tail light issues that we have on this car. So beautiful car and we need some new tail lights back here. And uh, Luke ordered some up. So we're gonna do that right now. Oh yeah. Where's all that? Right, look at uh, these things. Beautiful brand new tail lights, freaking gorgeous. Red 300 ZX looks amazing. It's got the other one right there. So yeah, it's gonna be much needed upgrade. That. 
All right, Luke's unboxing his other light. We have some. There's that weather stripping. Weather stripping. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's She's gonna sticky. be fun. Yeah, but it's all right, dude. You're gonna put it on. You're just gonna put it on light and then push it on there, and you're not taking it back out, right? No. It's so perfect. Heck no. I actually have the uh, I have the JDM uh, Kuki tail lights for my 240. And I have that weather stripping. I have not put it on yet. Really? Yeah. Because it just sits in my garage, so I'm like. I almost feel like just not even doing the weather stripping, just using the stuff that's already on there. Yeah. I mean, you could. Oh. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. yeah. It's up to you. I mean, like I said, I didn't even put it on my uh, 240, but I have the 240 oh, dude, all and look at this. stripped down and painted. Brand new gaskets, yeah, dude. Yeah, good, dude. Woo! So that's all. That good. little clippy. We'll look, we'll look and see how much you know how much is there. Cause it doesn't, I mean, you're not taking them back out. So it's not a huge deal. Nah. All right. So what's the bolts? Do you remember what is it? 10 millimeter or eight millimeter bolts? I want to say they're eight. I feel like eight's the right answer. Um, I'm just going to get the new ones out of the way. All right. So first things first, Luke has definitely been here before. What do you do? Pull out all this. Uh, yeah. You just pop out all these little plastic uh, trim uh, pieces and try not to rip your fabric. Yes, that is the most important thing. So here's the little trim pieces he's popping out. Yeah, so we got probably- we got a little trim panel puller. Probably like 15 of these. And yeah, these are great. You get them at Harbor Freight. These really come in handy when you're pulling st like uh, door panels off, stuff like that. So you're not damaging anything. Oh yeah. That sucks. Looks like you got one on the bottom there. Yeah, yep, got another one there. Some of them kind of go loose over time, so they're just like there for looks. Yeah. But this little guy is out. We got... So what was your other Z? Was it a two plus two or two? It was a two plus two oh. NA 1990s. Had the digital readout uh, climate control. Nice. Freaking awesome. And oh dude, I found the title for it. Oh, really? Yeah, I had I had the uh the original title. I, I What did I, you I do know. with that car then? I traded it in. I and think they, they just the title? I think they just figured it out, yeah. Applied <laughs> for I, a lost title or something. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they just didn't care. I think they just sold it to the wholesaler because dude, I I had this like crazy interior project I was working on. And it was like half done. So there was, was like panels like, everywhere. Yeah. They called the wholesaler. I <laughs> promise you that. <laughs> that thing was banged up. But now I have a nice Z because I have money <laughs> that I can spend. That's usually how, uh, yeah. Disposable income. How it happens. Yeah. When you're a kid, you just want. You know, you want something that looks cool, you and, know. And that you can do projects too. Exactly, and and make it a little bit worse as you Well, yeah. <laughs> And it's so true. It's so freaking true. But uh, yeah, I did all kinds of, all kinds of wonderful projects to that thing. You gotta learn, you gotta learn somewhere. Yeah. I've had plenty of cars I've learned stuff on and Yep. And other stuff. Oh yeah, here's another one. Uh, and these little clips are all over the place. So, so when you think you have them all, I bet you've missed one. Yep. <clears throat> oh, crap. If you broke it, it's all good and get a replacement. Even AutoZone sells replacement, like you can buy just a handful of them at once. Yeah. Yeah, that one kinda, kinda cracked a little bit on the head. It's old, cheap plastic, so. It, it has done its job, it's. That's a nice panel for 20, 30 years old, though. Yeah, dude, like, I'm sure there's plenty of these cars missing that panel. Right yeah, there, dude, like panel. these are, these panels are in good shape. Carpet looks good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, got some new hardware, too, dude, got new bolts. Yep, yep, Our new, new bolts, nuts, dude. At least. And I actually, when I did this stupid project, I lost the little center piece that holds in the, uh, the center panel, the 300ZX panel. Uh -huh. And that one has it already on it. Perfect. So I got that restored. Couple new bolts. 
And now I now we need to start unclipping stuff and pulling. All right, so we're gonna get these lights unclipped and get some bolts undone, and then we'll be back at it. Be like, no time at all for you guys. So Good what's up? Yeah, bro. yeah. So you did. So, so okay. Z, uh, Luke made this illuminate, which is you know super cool, but some other stuff happened along the way and yeah. so we're just gonna go with new jdm yeah. lights look sick and yeah. that red 300 looks so good so he didn't want to do the conversion but he's gonna tell us a little bit about it right now so yeah when i did when i did this um if you guys ever want to do it it's uh it looks really nice i'm not gonna you know it it looks nice you just don't need to paint your lights white um and don't soak them in goo gone there's a lot of things that i did that weren't right but this i think kind of turned out okay so, so. number one don't soak your lights in goo gone yeah. number two don't paint your lights um there. Yeah. but number three you should do this mod and maybe we'll do it maybe luke will uh donate yeah. these parts because i'm pretty sure i have a set of lights that we could do these yeah. two yeah and uh, we could actually go over this project so luke's going to tell us a little bit more right now so I just soldered this, but you just tie your, so this is your power inverter. And what we used was an EL panel. It's the only thing you can use uh, because uh, the, the panel is so thin. It's the only thing you can fit in there. You're not gonna fit LEDs or anything like that without like crazy fabrication, but it works really well. And I just tied into uh, the uh, license plate light. Okay. So instead of having it like, go with the uh with the brakes or something like that and confusing people or you know alerting the popo or whatever <laughs> like you just tie it in, into here and it's just got a nice illumination whenever you turn on your light so uh just kind of fun thing and you know i soldered them you don't really have to but i just feel like solder joints are great so. just from looking at what he's got going on there that actually looks super like straightforward yeah um it, it sounds like what he did is put the uh light panel behind here yep. and then just tapped in to these i don't know if you can see this these wires right there you, you got your power you got your ground and it's already on the light switch so uh, i think that'd be a fun project yeah uh, maybe we can tackle that here pretty quick yeah. and kind of see what it is it. i think it would be like super straightforward once we get uh oh super straightforward probably not but <laughs> <laughs> but i think we can do it we, we can definitely do it um there's i i like i know these look atrocious but i learned a lot in doing them, Taking and everything I knew apart. I was gonna learn uh, some stuff when doing them. So, you know, I'd probably take it back, but I learned a little something. Maybe I can, maybe I can help you out. Yeah, we can push it out to sick. to all you guys and let you guys learn from. Yep. You know, mistakes that happen. So Absolutely. no problem. We're gonna keep taking these apart. Eight millimeter bolts is uh, our eight millimeter nuts hold all this stuff on. If you've ever messed with any of these Nissan '90s Nissan tail lights, you probably already know that. Got everything disconnected, so I'm gonna finish getting that out of the way. Wait, they so lights are brand new yeah, lights, brand bro. New lights. Yeah, don't touch them. Yeah, but that's sick. Brand dude. new gaskets. No, that thing looks amazing, dude. And you just we just pull these gaskets off. Ugh. Oh yeah, they're, they they want to come off. They're asking, yeah. please. Yeah, they're like, please. So there's the other piece. Off. So yeah, he's got this thing ran in through here. And so you did have to separate that unit, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to. Yeah, you have to. That might be a little less straightforward than I thought. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah. I told you it wasn't <laughs> yeah. super straightforward, but after doing one, do, I learned from the my other. mistakes. And like with a heat gun, bro, you just take your time and just go around and around and around and around and around and around, and then it starts to come apart. Sounds like a heat gun. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. So, that thing is beautiful. This one ain't coming up, going apart because yeah, it's brand yeah, new and I don't want to ruin it. So I'd rather just, uh, yeah. And look at it. It looks freaking sexy. Yeah, it looks amazing. It this doesn't even look need so to good. be lit up. It's going to look so good. Hell yeah. Okay. So, now, do you need to take these lights out? You need to take these out and change oh, yeah, these yeah, yeah. before yep, you put that yep. in. Yeah, let's take those out. And then I was thinking maybe do a quick. Just a wipe down. Wipe down. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna watch Luke break this coming out. No, he got it. It's just Look got that goop. Oh, Ew. nummy, nummy. Ready. There it is. So, if anyone wants a 
pair of custom taillights. The Just, next uh, person to subscribe to YouTube membership, Jesse's Garage, we will send you out some straight up. Custom taillights. You gotta be, this is 2021. These were put together so. countless hours, bro. <laughs> Countless hours watching Initial D. Comment down Just, below yeah. what you think of these tail lights and go now. Come on. And if you want them, seriously, we will send them to somebody if they want to seriously. Get, get on it. Take them, bro. <laughs> and, dude, I mean, come on. Like, dude, that's custom. These, these here. We are going to take the light dope, out of there. No. I mean, like. That looks, that looks better. It looks, We're going to take the light out of that. <laughs> it's a little. But if you need an extra set of tail lights. Be all but right. like, come on, dude! You got the illuminated 300 ZX. J There's Rod. some value here. I think I, someone paid. There was value. <laughs> all right, here's how you properly install your tail light view. Right here. So you just want to go around the edge, stay inside the lines. That's very, very like meticulous. Yeah. Is that the word? Is that a word? Meticulous. Yeah, it sucks. AKA. It's, it's extremely meticulous. We just slowly go around. You know, just like you're drawing a little picture. Make a house and a smiley face with those stick people. Yep. Yep. It's like uh, first day of kindergarten, I remember. Yep. That's how that's how the engineers at Nissan did it. Yep. Draw a little. Alright, we're gonna get scissors this time because we used a knife and that didn't work last time. Little circle. And now you take your wife's scissors, yeah. the only scissors she use, uses, and, don't and then you and then you and then you cut a bunch of tar with them. Yeah, <laughs> smart. I won't get I won't get in trouble later. She doesn't watch. She doesn't watch this channel. We're good. It actually, we're way better than the other thing. It never happened. Okay. All uh, right. Paper it's towel. time to install. Wait, clean off some stuff and then install. <laughs> install. Alright, six percent battery left. We are at six percent battery left, so we Luke's gonna clean that, and uh, we'll just wait until we put them back in, so you can see the finished product, so my GoPro doesn't die. Ah. All right, look at that. Oh my God! Oh like... yes, dude. Dude, there's one tail light in, and it looks way better. Amazing. Holy crap! Yeah, so I was just that pushing looks that. So good. That, that looks great. Those tail lights. First Whoa. off, just new tail lights look good, and then those ones are just they they fire, dude. They hit it out of the park when they engineered those with the white and the red. Yeah. Just so good, so good. Okay. And then middle. You gotta put the other one on first. Oh yeah, we do. Yep. Yeah. First. God, it's like night and day. Freaking crystal, bro. Yeah. So good. Brand new lights, dude. Brand new timing belt, brand new lights. Woo! We gotta get you some new wheels and tires, dude. Yeah. That's that's one of them. Let's get some coil over, slam this thing. After timing belt, I think I'm gonna do uh, clutch. You already got exhaust on here. And then tackle that. I'm probably next year. <laughs> <laughs> like, it looks like somebody replaced it. Yeah. Well, that's another whole tear it all apart project. Yeah, we, we got to spread this crap out, dude. You're like, like oh, it's nice in Idaho. I need to drive my car. Yeah. I want to drive it. But I need to get that clutch done because the clutch is... Um, Giving you really, issues. I mean, it's... it's I think Look it's at those tail lights, dude. Woo! Yeah, that looks awesome. Dude, that looks so much better. It looks so good. Than any alternative. Oh, not... yeah, no. There's not, this is. All right, dude, well, we're finishing this up. Our battery died, but we threw it back on the charger for a quick minute just to get this, and here it is. You already know that that was gonna look good. 300ZX is in there somewhere, there you go. Oh, yeah, oh well, my gosh, look at that. Blow! Go back the other way. Woo! That's freaking fire, dude. Yeah, dude. On so, the if you think these taillights look better than the other ones, I want you to go down to the like button and hit that like button for me. Get some <laughs> likes on this video. And uh, boom, they're looking good. Now when I walk up, we're going to see some nice, clean JDM taillights. Yeah. Luke's loving it. 
Oh yeah, these are so good. Why didn't we do this like four videos ago, bro? Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta save it. And he was saying, yeah, the time he spent on those other ones, he should have just done those and yeah. he would have made the money yeah. just in the time that he spent on the other one. So yeah. do it right the first time. Do whatever your profession is. Don't spend <laughs> your time doing those. And nobody's profession is light disassembler. No. So. And fabricator modifier. Yeah. Unless you work at West Coast Con Customs. Uh, what is that? Pimp my ride, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up. I got to get going. The battery's going to die again. Uh, that's it. Tail lights look sick. We'll see some more of these tail lights in the future video. We'll get the battery hooked back up, get them all, and maybe some daylight. But uh, for right now, that's kind of what we had on mind today. Get the engine all cleaned up, and then phew, new tail lights. I'm going to drive the 350. I'll see you guys on the next one.